Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a position where, for some reason, your iPhone is just not downloading any apps at all. Now, this happens for a couple of reasons, but typically the main reason why this happens is if you go into your app store and none of your apps are downloading or anything like that, you may have a very weak internet connection. So what I typically do at this point is I make my way over to my settings app. So I go into settings right here, and I typically go under Wi-Fi. If I'm under cellular, I go under cellular, and I verify I'm connected to some sort of network connection out there. Now, once you do that, you want to go ahead and make your way over to some other web page. So here you can go to here. If you're on, you know, you can go to the Apple Store website or whatever it is. You basically want to see how long it takes you to load up these other web pages. If it takes you a very long time to do it, then there may be an issue and you may have to connect to a better network or something like that. But if it's pretty instantaneous, like this was actually pretty decent, then you probably don't have to worry about the network connection being an issue. So what you can do next, and what I typically do, is I go ahead and make my way back over to my settings app like this. I go ahead and click on my little internet, whatever, this little iCloud icon up there. And sometimes you may have to click iCloud. You can go ahead and kind of click media and purchases. Sometimes it may prompt you to type in your password here. So if you forgot to type in your password on your app store option, and it tells you to type in your password here, then what you'll essentially have to do is go ahead and type in your password. And that's pretty much the main thing you can do as of this point. And that's what I would recommend doing is finding a way if there's a way to type in your password, you know, if it prompts up, if it doesn't prompt up, then what I would recommend doing at this point is clicking on media and purchases and clicking the sign out option. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to sign you out of iCloud. So it's going to, you know, probably delete anything that's iCloud related on your phone. So you can click sign out and you want to sign out of your account. But then what you want to do is sign back in. So all your stuff is still going to be there. It's not going to delete anything off your phone. So you want to basically sign out of the account, sign back in, and then you want to go back into your app store. So once you do that, you want to see, you know, essentially if anything comes up, if there's another, another like prompt logo that tells you to log in or whatever like that, you essentially want to log back into that option. As you can see, the little option like this may come up and this is where you're going to have to go ahead and type in your password. So you want to go and click on settings and then it's going to prompt you to type in your password. So this is exactly where you want to be at. I'm surprised it even came up to be honest. You want to type in your password because if you click not now, there can be some times where some applications need you to type in the password and you didn't type in it before and maybe you exit out of it and not even realized it. So essentially when I get into this panel, you want to sign in and then you'll be able to download your applications. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.